Okay guys, here's a brand new 2024 Class C Freedom Elite, very small Class C. It's a model 22 FE. Nice uh, colors here. Nice looking small compact Class C motorhome. Let's take a look inside this beautiful unit. Um, immediately amazed and inspired by the decor light cream color cabinetry feels roomy in here for the compact space i love the huge sliding window with the beautiful dinette here uh, like a leather type seating very nice countertop with built-in cup holders this huge again window to look out as you eat or do your work on your laptop and i love the TV mount so you have a great sitting area to watch your TV and to look out to see nature that great balance with a huge area directly above the Class C motorhome uh, driving compartment and this is what the Class C motorhome is known for this compartment above the driving cab and it is obviously made for separate sleeping quarters but it can also be used for storage if you're a solo traveler or a couple and I love that it has a sliding window and uh, it doesn't have a window on this side, but it does have a vent up top. And I love the Ford chassis, okay? This is a nice looking unit, cloth seating here, but very comfortable to get in and out of the motorhome as far as the driving area and directly into the living space. You don't have to exit the car to get into your living space. Um, love the display there, love the cup holders. For a, for a long trip, this is something that you can drive and feel comfortable in and not too burdened by the size of the rig because it's very compact. Now with a Class C motorhome, you have to make a mental note, you may need a tow vehicle if you're gonna go for long extended trips because driving this to the supermarket and to run your errands is not practical as a full-timer for most people. So you're gonna need to tow a vehicle. Uh, so that's the only negative, but the positive is this is a beautiful looking unit okay that i love the kitchen i love this uh you know little area here with your sink countertop cover this gives you more workspace love that you have another great window to look outside love the white cabinetry love that you have an oven okay which is unique in some of the smaller motorhomes and rvs three burner propane gas stove top built-in microwave Again, beautiful color clean, um, cr cream cabinetry makes it feel very classy and, and well built. Uh, nice standard refrigerator. These handles sometimes could break. That's the only negative I don't like. But you do have a separate freezer, which I like. It's a little step up here. But again, I love this main area. Okay, uh, I, The only reason I'm not a Class C fan is you're probably going to need another vehicle to tow. I don't like that. But I love... The room of a Class C motorhome uh, better than the the smaller room of a van or a Class B motorhome. Okay, the, so the living space here in this Class C RV for being small and compact, under 24 feet, I love it. Okay, you got more cabinetry here. And uh, we'll go to your master bedroom first. Now, this is a slide out here. I don't like slide outs because it's a mechanical issue that can fail. So that'd be a negative. But the positive is you got this nice, beautiful bedroom, okay, with only a curtain for privacy, but it's very tucked away in the back of the RV. And I love this layout. I love the feel of this Class C compact motorhome. You feel homey. And it feels higher end with the uh, materials and color decor. It's it's very well built. Okay, so you got a queen size bed with cabinetry. Again, the cream tones carried throughout, and you even have a uh, storage here. Wow, nice for your. Uh, oh, this is huge. I love this. Yeah, this is a very nice RV. I really do like it. Let's take a look in your uh, bathroom, your one and only. Oh, and this is nice too. This is pretty big. See, I love how like you got like a corner sink, uh, and you have a vanity here. Excuse, I know it's a little dark. Let me see where the light is. There we go. OK, 
Okay, so let me give you another look here. Again, laminate flooring carried throughout. And a nice medicine cabinet with a mirror. Okay. And do you have a 120 outlet? I don't see one. That's a negative in case you wanted to cut your hair or something. Use trimmers, which I do, or a hair dryer. Oh, the 120 outlet's under here. Okay, so you do have it for a hair dryer or hair clippers, etc. Toilet and separate shower, fiberglass surround. And you do have a vent up top and a sunlight. And, um... Everything you need here fully self-contained. Here's your light and a fan switch. I just turned the light on turn it off You have a fan turn the light back on Okay, and so this is a beautiful class C unit. Let me know your thoughts below Of course you have the low profile AC up top You have AC your heating furnace is below so you have every this is a home on wheels This is what it means to live mobile now most people part-time. This is a recreational vehicle but some people do live out of it. And the other thing I was looking at, yeah, this this is even <laughs> cuter than I thought. The mirror here right next to the dinette, it goes into the storage that we were just in in the master bedroom. I'll show you. I was looking at that. I said, does that pass through? So it's pass through storage. That's awesome. Look at that. I'm in the bedroom now, and that goes out to the dinette. So that's a cute little, like, hidden feature. Yeah, this is an inspiring Class C. The only thing I don't like, again, is you may need a tow vehicle because if you were full-timing, uh, can you drive this every day, everywhere? I mean, you could, but it'd be a little bit of a burden when you get to that point. So, you know, let's take a quick look on the outside. Uh, beautiful unit. Now, again, it is a vehicle, so you need to change the oil. You need to think about that. You need to eventually change the brakes and axles. So, but most people only keep their RV uh, three years or less, believe it or not. Uh, so that's, those are things you gotta consider too on your journey. See, that's the pop out there. And all your hookups are on this side. Love the big windows. So that's a nice unit. And you do have a generator. There's your generator there. So you're fully self-contained and you could even live off grid for a while. Now, and, the, and again, though the generator could fail, it needs maintenance, change the oil, etc. Everything is maintenance, okay? But you do have a hot water heater, it's your 30 amp plug, uh, unleaded fuel. I think it takes regular fuel too, so. so it's a beautiful unit if you were going for a Class C. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up, subscribe, and share it, and I thank you.